Madison, I, your objection is uh, was previously stated as you're objecting to this witness testifying wearing a mask. Uh, based upon his testimony, uh, I overruled the objection, and uh, now you're suggesting you want to revisit that? Yes, sir. So go ahead and tell me, make your argument. May I inquire from the witness? Sure. Sir, are you aware that your picture went along with your family is on the internet as we sit here today? Nope. May I approach? You may. Same thing you showed uh, Council Cycle? Yes. Thank you. Go ahead. Okay. I'm going to show you what uh, this is a picture of mask if that is you and your family. Yes, sir. And that's on your wife's cash app. Yes, sir. Which is available to anyone uh, who runs that. Because we just ran it this morning. I guess so. I did my best to uh, keep things clean. I guess I missed that one. We would object to him continuing to testify with his mask on based upon that as public record. Yeah, this is nothing that this witness put on. It was something that was done by a family member that he was unaware of. So based on that, and his, the testimony is still truthful and accurate as to what he has done to protect his identity on that. So based on that particular item, I don't think that rises to that level. Thank you. All right. Uh, Detective, can you step down for a second? Just wait outside. Yes, sir. Your Honor, I have a request. Yes, sir. Can I briefly call my wife and make sure that she scrubs everything that I might have missed? Sure. Thank you, sir. And Judge, we just asked to have the tent not to preserve that because that is something that if it got out, there would be concerns for the safety of the witness on that. It's already been seen by the court and it be described as such. Um, but to preserve it, if anything else on that, that could lead to the safety issues for this witness would be very troubling. We have no problem with that. So that's agreed. All right. So uh, I'd like to hear what he's, the witnesses finds out from his uh, spouse. I, I guess my concern is, uh, you know, it's always something we're trying to balance things. The uh, news crew has a right to be here and film what's going on in the courtroom. The defendant has a right of confrontation. Typically, it's face to face, uh, but you know it's not hard and fast. The witness indicates there's threats on his life, and he's worried about his uh, security of his family. Uh, and it's a balancing of all those things. So uh, I don't know where this came from or uh, how it was obtained. Uh, I don't know how you you got a hold of the picture in the first place. Uh, you're saying it's on a cash app? So, yeah, all you have to do, her phone number is listed, and when you put her in cash app, the picture comes up. Cash app is what? So cash app is similar to Zelle, Venmo, so it's if I want to send you money, or better yet, if you want to send me money, you have a cash app, you send it to either my phone number or to my email, whatever I have set up. And most people do have pictures there. Um, it is open to the public. Cash App is not one of, with Venmo, you can actually make things private. Cash App does not. So everything you do on Cash App is in the public domain. Yeah, it seems a little concerning and troubling if they'd be looking at the witness's wife and family with the intent to cause them some sort of harm or to intimidate them in any way. Well, I resent that, first of all. We have a right to confront the accuser, they made a representation. It turns out to be incorrect. So, quite candidly, I resent any implication that we're trying to put anyone in danger. Quite to the contrary. Thank you. Being recess, when you want to step out, find out, you know, if he's able to find out that the information is being recessed. 